we're going to take a look at the special category of symbols in Trade Navigator called continuous contracts. This is a, it's a big question that we have a lot about the symbols that we offer in our software and whether or not we offer the various continuous contracts that are available. And we do have a lot of continuous contracts to choose from. So once you're inside of the All Futures window, you can see we have a lot of different continuous contracts to work with. But there are basically uh, three different types. And we'll, we'll say that first there's two different categories and three different types. The first category is that of a continuous contract that is not back adjusted. So any contract that is listed as a 05 number will be a contract that, again, is not back adjusted. So now if we go take a look at a uh, 06 contract type, now that's going to be a contract that is back adjusted. Um, and basically when we're talking about back adjusted, it's an adjustment that is made between the different contracts. So out of the two different categories, being the 05 and the 06, there are other categories that, um, well, basically those will be the GAN contracts. Uh, GAN contracts are different. Uh, you'll be trading with a different type of trading style if you're using those contracts. Now we also have the spot month contract. And the spot month contract basically uh, is the contract that is currently being traded. Let's talk about the last number on the contract. You'll notice that with the 05s, the 06s, there is the 055, 056, and 57. We also have the 67, the 66, and the 65. This basically will depict whether or not that contract is traded over a certain time period, what the expiration date may be for that particular contract. And for both the 06 and the 05, there are contracts that expire on the first of the trading month. Contracts that expire based on a specific expiration date and contracts that expire because they are most liquid. So there is a 05 a 065, a 066, a 056, and a 067, and a 057. And again, it depends on whether or not that contract is back adjusted or not back adjusted. Now, again, when we're showing you all of these different types of contracts, you're going to determine what you prefer to trade from. The benefit of a continuous contract is that a continuous contract uh, always updates itself. So when the contract rolls, the continuous contract simply adds the new contract to the existing contract information. So now we have historical information as well as present day information.